So all you need is some plain card, so you can make your own cards, or you can get these pre-cut cards, which have got a scalloped edge. This has got an aperture, and you can buy these from places like The Range, um, Hobbycraft, etc. And you need lots of coloured threads, wool, a needle, a sequin, and a different coloured card to go on the ones like this. So I'm going to show you now various designs which I've come up with, which are very simple but very effective. This one says... You are my sunshine. So I've not stuck any of these on so that I can show you the pattern that I've worked out. I've done a circle here and then I've done the rays of the sun in pencil. And with my needle, I've then made a hole so that you know where you're stitching. Some of them are short, some of them are long. And the background, I've just done poster colours, a, a little bit of water and some salt, just to give it a different texture. This is a button with a smiley face. So that's You Are My Sunshine. This room reminds me of a Catherine wheel Again, on the back, I've just done a squirrel right the way round, and then with my needle, I've made holes all the way round. And this wall is absolutely ideal because you get all the different colours. And I think this looks rather like a Catherine wheel. So that's another interesting one this has got random holes and I've just stitched in different directions and then stuck some sequins on to embellish it a little bit This is a, a rectangular one. So again, you draw out your rectangles and then you just put your needle through in the corners and gradually make them smaller and smaller. And then I've just embellished it with two sequins and a little pom-pom. This is a tree. Just three triangles. So you just draw three triangles, put your needle in the three hole, make three holes, and then I've done two colours. Again, this is a background made from poster colours, water, and a little bit of salt. And I've added a tree trunk and a star. This is an interesting one. And years ago I made some friends a card similar to this, to this and it was the one card that they remember receiving. It's just simply two circles and again You've got a hole in the middle and then you've got long and short um, pieces of thread. So you get a sort of a star effect. And then I've again embellished it with a sparkly star and put these sequins round to make it more interesting. This card 
started off without all this I was just going to leave it and then I looked at it and thought that really looks like a fish so I then added the eye the scales the tail and the mouth and three sequins so it looks as though there are bubbles coming from the fish's mouth that took me by surprise because I wasn't didn't start with the intention of making it into a fish children like to do I found bubble writing so all you need to do is to do bubble writing for them and then let them colour all the letters in different colours and it is very effective So I hope that this workshop has given you in some inspiration for making your own cards, making them very personal and interesting. So I look forward to seeing you at my next workshop. Please press the subscribe button and please make comments to let me know if you've enjoyed the, the workshops, what other workshops you'd like me to uh, create. And I will endeavour to answer any of your questions. So take care and I look forward to seeing you again soon. There you go. So I hope you've managed to discover some interesting designs and that you'll have fun putting these together and making someone's day very happy. Please press the subscribe button and make any comments about the workshops, any future workshops you would like and ask me any questions and I will endeavour to answer them. So I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, take care. Bye.